Resident Evil 4 Remake Chapter 12 Huh, I didn't know his first name was Jack. You were a fine knight, Don Quixote. <laughs> oh! Oh! I know a lot of people are gonna get you that won't reference. Get away with this Krauser. Oh my God! Don Quixote was this uh, fictional character. Uh, I think it originated from Spain or something. It was about this uh, crazy knight who had a who rode on a donkey, and he. Uh, I remember the story where he he's also got like this uh, sidekick I forgot what his name was but he was basically the smart one because Don Quixote um, they ran into these oh this was on their side they ran into some uh, windmills and Quixote thought they were giants. But his sidekick was like, uh, no, sir, those are just windmills. And then he ignores him and just charges right at him. And despite the... He kept bouncing right off of him. And, uh, he, he then proclaimed himself the victor. Like, I don't think I've ever really read any of those stories. But still, I think that was hilarious that Leon brought it up. Okay, am I missing anything else? I don't think so. Leon, there's only time to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Ah, uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> the detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of his image makes my skin crawl. Do me a service and find some way to deface the portrait of him in the room shown in the photograph, will you? I'm not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. So, back in the throne room. Someone help me recover a stolen jewel snatched by a thieving crow. I bet it can be found found in the vile thing's nest. It is an heirloom of our family and cannot become someone's some bird's plaything. Sell a scratched emerald courtyard. Uh. All right, throne room's closer. Uh, 
how I react all the time. Pursuit. October, October. Eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progress to its final stage: the fusion of human and insect. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my heart, my whole heart, into this endeavor in order to transcend humanity and make me stir the moon proud. March, nine years since my awakening, a glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not, but not, not for not. Okay. Behold the fruits of my labor and all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3. For three is the most beautiful and complete number. April, nine years since my awakening. You three, my dear hound, Pesanta, has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon, but is two not better than one. Now it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. His humble servant, Isitro Uriarte Talavera. Okay. This guy was crazy. And I doubt the housekeeper volunteered for that. Uh, 
think I'm playing this game at a really bad time. The glare on the screen's bad. Can't see anything. I'll be taking this. Chicken. Odd. Confession. My lord, my true benevolent father, bless this house, our bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminatus evil and persecuted its followers. Not only that, he stole their most prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy, insolence. How long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the day of atonement has come. Oh, my beloved Lord Sadler, I shall release the holy plagas that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn. As a part of the flock, reborn as Gennaro, they shall be my Lord's loyal servant. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my Lord's feet and bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you, I swear my unwavering allegiance. <laughs> Master Raymond, with tomorrow's procedure, I shall finally surpass the limitations of this portal shell. Oh my god! The housekeeper did volunteer. What's left of me now shall soon be gone. Magnificent, the holy body is wondrous miracle. The fealty I have sworn to Master Ramon is the sole light of illuminates my path. Our faith shall be intertwined until the very end. Have you ever known such loyalty? Ha. Huh. I really didn't want to use that golden egg. Huh. I remember There's no time for resting. I think I remember Seeing that somewhere, I don't really remember. Get to the courtyard and find that. Bro. 
Ah, there it is. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Took care of her a quest, did ya? <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. Well, look at you, mate. Well then, what can I do you for? All right, let's see what this. So, which weapon will you be giving a shine to? Give us a shout when you want to tune it up. That is a top-notch weapon. You really don't settle for anything less than the best, do you? Good as new. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Well, there's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Oh, God. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder! Motherfucker.
come on. Fuck you, Salazar. Trying to look for the treasure. Are you kidding me? Can move.
there. What the fuck? Shit. Oh, shit. I didn't miss that treasure. Okay, so there's supposed to be a award to using this elevator, getting all the way up to the top without stopping even once. So I'm gonna be lift. How thoughtful. You're as likely to give up as you. Shit. 
shit. Fuck! Finally! Shit! One down. Shit! Okay. That last treasure is beyond those. Whoa. Nice view. I've been a fool not to do that. Sorry, I was just checking on the treasure. Shit, I had to try like, what, 10 times? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> Before I go to the merchant. Going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life. 
life wondering, what if? Am I right? Yeah, problem is I don't have any more small keys. Like, there's only like one treasure left on this map. It's over there. On the other side, I'm not going back through that elevator, but fuck. Unfortunately, I am going to have to live with the what if. <laughs> Why not treat yourself? of his servant, Ramon. <clears throat> Ashley! Such a fool, Mr. Kennedy. To have been bestowed with Lord Sadler's... You talk too much. Failed! <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Like, that was like, what are you fucking waiting for? Shoot the asshole, you know? During the first game, and he actually does it. <laughs> Allow me to show you the power to be granted by my master. The power of the God. Stage is set for the final act. Crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first class credit is like? Do your own actions.
Oh no 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 oh! shit Why did you flee? You insolent dog Thanks, bro. Fuck you. And fuck your lord. Ew. Whip rouge. Ashley, no time to lose. Housekeeper Memo, I have failed you, my lord. I was unable to reveal your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years. When he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Pulgarcito behind his back, he summoned her in his private chambers. After forcing her to kneel before him, Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. As time passed, Ramon's treachery only deepened, and that infernal cult soon learned they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends. They've manipulated Massimeron and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash the Las Plagas that Salazar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salazar family since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. She probably should have quit while she had the chance. <laughs> Although, now I'm wondering what the hell happened to the guy with the black robe. Because I remembered... Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Hmm. 
I remembered it was Ada who had the boat. Ah, oh, damn it. Looking for something? Cool. So that boss fight was actually pretty awesome, albeit it was a pain in the ass for me to complete. It took me like five tries to do that, and it took me ten tries to get through the elevator scene and like without it stopping even once. Yeah, it, it, it this was a very difficult chapter to complete. But now the key thing here, the boss fight. That was pretty awesome because I remembered in the original game, Salazar fused with some kind of giant worm-like monster thing. Where he and the guy in the black robe, you three, um, merged together into some kind of a gigantic, horrible monster thing. And you had to shoot Salazar whenever he, you know, revealed himself and shit. That this was very different and I thought it was actually pretty... Pretty badass. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.